What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one source for everything girl groups with the number one fanboys. I am your host, Justin Turneau, with my co-host, Brian Limper. We survived the Thanksgiving holiday, and we're here. We're headed on to Christmas. That's crazy, actually. It's December. Well, it's December 2nd now. December 2nd. You know what I gotta say about that? Shoblites. Shoblites. Love December. Not really. It's cold. It was cold today. Dude, it was freezing. It was horrible. When I came over here, got out, it was like the... It was Your like car's the, gonna be frozen. Oh, know. it was... Well, it's the worst thing about when it's super cold and driving somewhere, especially in like Springfield where you may... Like, it doesn't take that long to get anywhere. It's like your car... Never gets actually warm until you're like there, and then like <laughs> until you're actually there, and it's like oh, it's like comfortable, and then you have to get out, and it's cold, and everything sucks. My least favorite thing is since I don't have a parking garage anymore, uh, that like my entire life's on a very specific time schedule, so I know when I need to wake up and be leaving the house, so I can get to work and not be late. Right. And now that I have to stop and like scrape all the ice off my car, it adds like four oh. or five seconds to it and it just throws my whole day off. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Dude, I hate oh man. That four to five I seconds hate. is the difference between coming in at eight oh one and coming in at eight o'clock and then getting like it's, right up. It's horrible. I can like feel it in my bones, the scraping ice feeling, and I I resent it so badly. And I just like hate getting out of the car and it's just you just like can't move because it's super cold. Yeah, or uh-huh. when like you're like driving, you like can't feel your fingertips because it's like, oh, crazy. it's the worst, and you're just like sitting there and you can't do anything about it, and you're I just like scream sometimes. And like, then everybody's like, "Sucks, put on gloves," and I'm like, what? "Dude, they don't." By the time help. I put the gloves on, it's, I'm already there, so they, it doesn't matter. And the car is barely warm, and then I get a, I don't know, I don't get how people like the cold. I I'm don't sure get you it. warm your car up, like you mean those people the, are the crazy. Three, the three minutes is gonna make a huge difference. Yeah, when I turn my car on when I go outside. People who like the cold, crazy people. I don't no know. idea. I get if you don't love, like, the hot, hot, like, whatever, but the cold, come on. I like a nice, like, it just, I mid can't move. to high 60, maybe in the low 70s. Mm. That's the best. Yeah, I would, I could totally do without winter. I hate, like, well, like I told you before, I hate being, like, super hot, like, when it's super, super hot. Yeah. But I'd rather have that than to be, like, humid. Oh, like, if I it's would. just hot and it's not humid, that's fine. Like, when we go to warp tour and stuff, that's fine. But when it's like hot, but it's like super humid, and as soon as you go outside, you're like dripping sweat off your body. I hate that. I can't stand it. I don't. I mean, that's not ideal. I don't honestly don't mind it that much because I just like warm. Uh, I would much rather have that than just like stepping outside and being attacked for, at every angle from the cold and like having to put on a hoodie, a jacket, and like. You just have to wear more clothes too, and I'm like, that's. I mean, that doesn't really bother me too much. I'm just like, oh, I got to put, like, sweatpants. I don't know. It's just more of a hat. I just, like, can't move in the cold, and I don't like it. Because generally, when it's cold, I can put more clothes on to be warm. But when it's hot, I'm, like, sitting there, like, literally in my boxes. I'm like, it's still freaking hot, and I hate it. I hate sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Sweating's the worst. I don't know. Don't sweat, people. Don't be anything. Don't do anything active. <laughs> I just sit at home and listen to our podcast and stay in K-pop groups. Like, don't even go outside and do anything. That Ever. works. I mean, that's what we've been doing this whole year, pretty much. Yeah, I guess that is true. <laughs> Staying inside. The craziest thing was I saw someone was like, dang, March is only three months away, and that's like when all this started, and I was like, that's wild. It's like, yeah, dude, it's true. It's like coming up on March when all this nonsense really hit the fan. Some dude came in today and paid child support, and he paid, and she's like, and then uh, the lady at work was like, oh, thanks, because, yep, see you next year. And she's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, oh, I got to pay my next payment next month. And she's like, oh, wait, you're right, it's December, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't feel like December. I will say, I feel like it has been up until like the last few days or so, like decently warm for as far late we are in the year. Oh, dude, it's like 70s. It was like 70s, like honestly, like 10 days ago. Yeah, so. it was pretty nice. Today was really honest, like the first like cold, cold. Like day. yesterday and today were like, okay, this sucks. I feel like uh, this year's actually going by pretty fast. Dude, it really has. I don't know. The most yeah, it has. Those bi-weekly paychecks I'm getting, but I feel yeah. like the week goes by, or the weeks, I feel like the, well, the, I feel like the, like, month goes by, like, weeks. It's, like, not. Yeah, I mean, we're already in December, a few weeks away from Christmas, and then it's going to be the 2021. Yep. And, yeah, we'll be going on from there. It's weird. What a weird year. It's crazy. Good year for K-pop, though. 
I was going to say, because that means if it's cold outside, the end of the year means end of the year awards. So I am excited for the end of the year awards. That's what it's all about. It's what the people work for before it gets rigged by uh, I'm, uh, everybody. I'm pumped for all the random awards that I don't even know what the actual award is for groups to win. Like all the, the participation. The best awards. showcase in popular demand award goes to. And I'm like, what does that even mean? Yep. And I'm ready for to see all the people argue like they always do about people winning something and not winning something. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It's the best. Shabloids. Sh- Shabloids. That's what so, I have to say. Yeah. Shabloids. Uh, we did have a week off. So that's kind of crazy. It, it is. Last year felt like it like dude we were gone forever this week doesn't feel like that or this i was this, gonna say that this year doesn't feel like it i was gonna say that that's exactly how i feel i felt like we like recorded like last week like last time when last week when we had our week off it did feel like months this time it didn't feel like not that. at all maybe we're more in the flow of uh, podcasting i don't know yeah i don't know that might be it because i was thinking last week i was like man it's been like a month we haven't recorded anything and then this week you came over i'm like oh i was gonna say it's already time i was to like yeah this. it's podcast time <laughs> Hey, it's just how 2020. That's I don't know why that would feel different, but it does. Because I thought the same exact thing. I was like, oh, it doesn't feel weird like last time that we skipped eight weeks. <laughs> the other thing that's crazy is um, this is be episode 61. Yeah, I believe. And the last time we did an awards was episode 11. So that's 50 episodes ago. Man, you you didn't didn't you listen to that one? Didn't you go back and listen to see what we said for? Yeah, our, I listened to the whole. Oh thing. man. Maybe for when we do our next, like, our awards, we need to, like, write them down and be like, this is what we had last year, and just see how, like... Oh, yeah, I mean, well, that'll what, be next week, so... Yeah, <laughs> next spoiler. Week, next week we can... Because I don't even know what I put at all. Like I Generally, generally whatever you think you would have put, that's what you put. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I don't remember what our cat, but, I mean, it makes sense. Um. Yeah, I listen to it. I Usually, usually when we do episodes that involve doing something similar to what we've done before, I'll go back and, like, listen to the episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Mainly because I just like hearing myself talk. There which you like out a podcast to begin with. That's why we have 61 episodes pretty soon. True. Um, but no, I was going to ask. a lot of episodes. Since we've been gone for oh, two weeks, well, one week, two weeks, that maybe. Maybe because I like come up, came over a couple times, we just like watched TV. That might have been it. We had a, yeah, because we went to the, uh, what, I always forget, what, is it Sunny China? I always forget what that one is. China Star. China Star. Oh, dude, the best. And they have the crazy dude, wall. That's like literally Inception, like dreams. That's my of through dreams. the fog. That was for the, the rest thing of ever. my life because that was crazy. It's crazy because I saw I, when we first walked up. I remember thinking, oh, they took the little window thing away. Yeah. And then we walked inside, and I was like, is this even China Star? Like, no, where I, am I? I thought we were in like a completely different place. That was crazy. That blew my mind. They literally built a whole wall inside the thing to like, I guess, protect the customers or protect them from. That's what you got to do. And then they just had the one little tiny window with the little voice thing. That's like, what did you order? I know. And then they like ship it off to you. That's pretty cool though. That's the most, that's by far the most intense like COVID per- precaution thing I've seen anywhere. It looked like entire families like playing in there. Oh, like, they're the all just, they're all like stuff. in the back of the actual restaurant when. It's something you got to see. You had to be there. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain it. I was. My mind was absolutely blown. I'm not. Even, really I'm not even kidding for the podcast. I'm not even trying to. It was pretty crazy. We talked about anybody. it like the whole. It was crazy. I was. We just the whole way home. Like man, that was a ridiculous. Also, shout out to China Star. You guys have always yeah, been that food a is, staple of my life for the last is, twenty plus years. So because we ate our food, ate our China Star, and we finished the first season of the WJSN show. So now we can start the second one. I mean, I've watched the first one like twelve times, but yeah, now we can start the second one finally. I will say, first one was really awesome. Um. I was thinking they might through the fogs, and I really through the fogs is something that really irritates me and I don't understand. Uh, when people drink stuff out of bottles, you know, like anything out of a bottle, yeah, and they like put their whole mouth on it to drink it. Oh, that's annoying. Like Ugh. why? You know what I'm talking about? Blech. Yeah. They're like, Ugh. you can't see I'm doing it. Like you literally wrap their lips around it and like drink it. I'm like Just that's so much like backwash out. and like. Like why? But there's so many people that do it. Like yeah. my sister drinks stuff like that. I don't understand. I'm so why. not surprised Brittany drinks things like that. You like put enough of your lips so you can like tilt it back and drink it. Like you don't put your whole mouth on it. I'm just gonna text her right now and say you disgust me. That's, That's so gross. You don't talk about that, right? Yeah, no. I, I that bugs watch, me too. I used to watch guys like playing basketball and stuff that they do that all the time. Like while we were playing, you know, they take a break while we we're playing and they drink a game. Like you want some? I'm like yeah. no. <laughs> There's like, uh, uh, it's just like horrible, like full mouth on the thing. 
Yeah. I hate that. That's my thing. Why would anyone do that? It really bothers me. I don't understand that. It's a good one because it bothers me as well. I hate that. I also had an idea for an episode we can do that would be hilarious. Because a couple weeks ago we were talking about how I always had that one member of the group that I forget that's not there. Yeah. And I just want to go through all the groups and pick which – name the members and whichever one is the one I forget the tree one because I just can't remember them in my head. Yeah, we could do that. Every group has a tree. Every single one, yeah. Which is the funny because I was also thinking about it today because the music – well, I guess, yeah, the music video. Trailer for the new um, Eyes one thing came out today, right? Yeah. Which was awesome. Looks and I was awesome. Posting about it, and I was thinking, I was counting all the members when I was hashtagging. I'm like, who am I missing? And you know who I always forget every single time I put it on there? Who? Yena. Every single really? time. Really? I talk to you about it all the time. <laughs> I send you pictures of her all the time. Yeah, yeah. Every time I list them out, the very last person I forget all the time is Yena. Every single time. It's a tough one. I don't know why. Even though she's been one of your favorites. I don't. I, every it's single time. It's not even like she's like your least favorite member either. That That's what doesn't make sense. Or like, you know, my girl, I always forget you. There's also you. a lot of people. I always forget you as in the group. Yeah. All the time. If you guys ever like go see our Instagram posts and all the hashtags when I hashtag the individual member individual members, yeah, you'll know which one is the tree because it's the one that's the last every single time. I try to like purposely it's the research one, like go out of my way to make sure that doesn't happen, but it always happens. Dude, yeah, we have a whole episode of the members I forget that are in groups. We could. That is weird. I don't know if that's really happened. I feel like that's happened to me sometimes. I feel like if it does happen to me, it's about a group that I like definitely, definitely know everyone. Like, it, like sometimes I feel like for twice, I'd forget, like, Dion. I'd be like, who? And I'd be like, there's only eight names. Who is missing? And I just cannot think of and it. You like and you, think then, over and, and over and look, over. <laughs> yeah, and you can't think of it. I just remember, I don't know, maybe this was once or twice, but I remember it happened with Dion one time. I was looking for something. And I was like, yep, all the members there. And then I was like, that's only eight. And I was like, who did I miss? And I, like, went through all the names. I was like, they're all there. And you look at the picture and like, oh, that's him. And then I, am like, looked online and I was like, oh, Dion, duh. You I know, don't know. It's like a who, weird brain. That's what I'm skip saying. Or something. You know who I was forgetting twice? No. Jogion. Really? It's like my favorite yeah. member. I forget her all the time. Yeah. yeah when I, I list them out, I always forget them. I don't know. I I, for, I just remember one time, like really forgetting Dion. There's my through the like, fog. Multiple times. Sometimes I just forget people. Just forget there. things. Forget things. And I'm like looking at the names. And I've seen them hundreds of times. And I just forget them. And I don't understand why. Yeah. Just like I can't see trees. I can't really. Uh, Remember any other time. But I do remember that specific time. I like could not remember. And I was like so angry because I was like I was like, that's all the members, but it only says eight. Who am I missing? And I just like could not me- remember who it was. And like obviously I knew who the member was. Like I knew who Diane was. I just totally forgot. And it's funny because sometimes like I was saying, sometimes like the favorite member of the group. But yeah, like, someone you, you like, like talk about a lot. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah. Maybe that's how it happens, is you like them so much that you just assume it's there. You just like yeah, it's just embedded. It's weird though. I don't know. That'll be a fun episode. That is a good. Uh, that is a good idea. Man, I'm so mad about the people drinking water like that now. Oh, dude! Uh, right. Especially Gatorade bottles when it's like a big mouth thing. Yeah, yeah. How are you not just like choking? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it bothers me. It's always so gross too. If like you're too close, sort of. If like they put the bottle down by you and you can see the little floaties in there. After, dude, that is like. Nightmare. That's the defi- nightmare fuel. Right that's the there. definition of twenty twenty. Oh, pretty much. Open mouth drinking with backwash. Why do? Why do? Why do? Why does anybody do that? I don't know. It bothers me. Just drink it like a normal. Does I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, but no, I was gonna ask you. It's been a couple weeks. You buy any cool K-pop stuff? Okay, so I got you. I say I bought you a couple things. I got you some it. good presents. I mean, one you know, and I don't. I think I bought it. I don't know if I said it, but I got you WJ Sen's Season's Greetings, which looks so awesome. Yeah, and you said it comes with, like, some special Polaroids or something? Uh, Yeah, the people, Sub K, it was like they have, like, a photo card set, and you get three out of the, the members, so. We'll get ten. And it's random, so we don't know who you're going to get. That's the best. Yeah, I'm pumped. Uh, I'm pumped for that. And then I got you something else, which is a surprise, but we do know about. Because, I mean, I've got you CLC Season's Greetings the last two years. But uh, this year we had to call the Audible and I got WJSN. Mainly because it came out first. It did come out if first. If CLCs came out first, I would have bought it. Like, Yeah, I'll still I mean, probably buy it to support them. But yeah. there's just like nothing compared to the WJSN dude, one. Dude. Oh, man. <laughs> that was like... I mean, really, it, it was whatever one came out first. I didn't know any... Like, I don't know who's getting one or not. I just saw it online. But once I saw it was actually like in the WJSN one... I was like, holy cow, that's like the most elite Seasons Greetings ever. The best thing about Seasons Greetings for anyone who's never bought it 
is you get a card of like every member. Like ever there's like you get like a whole set of everything. You know, it's not every, like an yeah. album where it's like a random one you may or may not get who you want. You're like guaranteed It's like super nice. A individual picture or whatever it is they have in there, but it's one of every single member. So you don't have to worry about not getting your bias and stuff. You get like a big calendar and all kinds of stuff. It's cool. And the the concept for the WJ7 one looks like really colorful and fun. Which it does I was look like, awesome. That's that's really cool. I mean, the CLC ones have been really awesome too, but I think uh, the WJ7 one was like elite. It just has so much stuff. So I'm glad that that was the one that I bought. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I, w- I got you some cool stuff, but uh, I really haven't bought any too much else. I got... I need to pre-order my Eyes One albums eventually. It is time for that. When I'm not poor. They're on M-Wave, but so now I'm retired from that. I'm not retired, but since I got my bias in the last one, I was like, I don't need to buy any more. It just I was, takes too freaking long. Well, the other thing I was thinking is I kind of want to order them, but at the same time, once it comes out, we could like a week later, we could just like go up north and just buy them. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to order them online. Because remember, I... Just bought all of them. They'll, really, like the day have, I went and bought all three albums. They'll have them there too because Eyes One is popular, so they'll have their new album. So instead of pre-ordering them, I was thinking about just going and buying. Yeah, no. I, if if I, not, I'll just buy them. All I them. think that would be the right, the right uh, move. So I got a. Uh, I bought it a long time ago, but I finally got it in the mail today, which I was pumped. It was a signed uh, Monster album by Sylvie and Irene. Dude, that's and cool. I was like, yep, that was. I don't even know what else I need to buy since I got that. And I was like, I was pumped for that. I'm kind of like at uh That was like the one thing I was like, I definitely want to have that. And now that I got it, I'm like, I don't even know what else I'm going to buy. Because I'm kind of like that in my like magic card collecting life. Yeah. I've got these decks I've made and I haven't really been too inspired to make new ones lately. Yeah. But like I'm at that point where I don't really have any cards I want or any cards that I need. Right. So I like have nothing to buy. Right. So I'm like, do I, I don't really need to buy these random versions of whatever. Because, I mean, I've got everything that I want right now. Yeah. The new set came out. I got all the cards from the new set that I want. Yeah. So it's not like... Yeah, if you have what you want, you don't... I don't need to go around just like, oh, I'll just buy this for the random heck of it, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess you could, but... Sometimes I buy, like, random booster packs just because, you know, why not? It's a little yeah, mystery. It's not like a lot of fun. I mean, they're, like, cheap. But, like, as far as, like, card, cards go, I don't really... I'm like this, so like you with K-pop stuff. I don't really know what to. You know, just like have what to buy. Yeah, and I was like, I have plenty, plenty of stuff. I don't need more stuff unless I like really want it. And I was like talking to the person that sold it to me because they like sell all their stuff. And then I was like, well, I really want the Monster album signed by Sylvia and I Rings. That was my favorite thing ever. And then they eventually had one, and I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And I like that's cool. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I gotta find a nice way to display it with my other stuff, but yeah, I was like, I just, I don't know, try not to have you know buy a million albums because I don't have any room. I was like, I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these albums once I take the photo cards out, you know? Well, yeah, I don't. I'm trying to think. I also bought that a long time ago. I just got here because you know, classic shipping. Aren't even. Where do you ship something for DHL? Like, where do you go? Because I got it like. The stuff I get from some people on Instagram is from DHL, and it, it arrives, and it's nice and fine. But I was like, if I wanted to ship some DHL, I don't know where to go. Is there, um, like, a store? Uh, the only DHL place I've ever seen was in Chicago up north. Really? Yeah. They had, like, a DHL place it. that they built. You know where the Northwestern, or when you go past, like, we are going to my old apartment, and you go past the big mall with the light-up board. Yeah. And then there's the one that says, like, Northwestern, like, Big Ten's football team. Yes. There's, like, a little DHL building that they oh, built is there. there. That's the only one I've ever seen. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that because I was like, I don't know how to freaking use. I mean, I know, like, UPS and FedEx and the Postal Service, but I don't know where DHL is. It's, like, this mystery. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know where it's in there. I don't remember I was telling you the other day that I, like, I hate doing anything DHL because I never get my stuff. Really? Remember, that's all the Is that pl- where all the, the stuff French I- stuff? Well, all the stuff I no, that was from like French post office. But all the stuff I tried to send out to people, yeah, was supposed to go DHL and it did months and months and months and they never shipped it. Yeah, I had a, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea how it worked. Maybe it's a more like overseas thing. It might be. I have no idea. I mean, it must be because that's what Momoland was wearing in their commercial. Yeah, I was gonna say. You know where DHL is? It's Momoland. That's why all our stuff is so slow to ship. It's because it's Momoland not doing their jobs. It's true. <laughs> thanks, <but>, Momoland. <laughs> thanks a lot. But yeah, speaking of that. Time for us to do our job. We had a fun episode today. So last year we only had 
an award show for us. So this year, I made a survey, and I sent it out to everybody over, like, in our Discord, on, over Instagram, over um, Twitter, Facebook, and our third hardest worker on this podcast, Reddit. And we got lots of uh, responses for awards season, like, uh, you know, normal questions you'd have for awards you give out at the end of the year. Right. So we pulled basically just a bunch of random listeners and fans to see what they had to say, to see, you know, what Oh yeah. they wanted to pick. So this is that episode. This is our fans, our the, KPK Fan Awards 2020. Fan Awards 2020 Awards. So. Getting in that awards spirit. We have these official, you can't see them right now. We have these official uh, envelopes here. We got all the all the envelopes, all, all the, the ballots, envelopes. all the so we can uh, we'll introduce these and all. Well, I've got to put the playlist up here. So the first one we have is concept of the year. Concept of right? the year, as voted by the KPK as voted fans. by the people that voted in the poll thing. So you know it's legit. And just to make it clear, this is all fans, no us at all. This is this, not us. This, this one is has just to do with this us. is just fans. From the poll Fallgraw made. So, this it was up for, I'd say, maybe, what? Would you say, like, I want to say it was two or three weeks. I think I gave it, like, a solid month. Probably a couple weeks, yeah. Um, Seems like it was, yeah. It was a little while. So, I'll have to get the, hold on a second, I need to play this up. You're good. We're watching Key and Peele skits to get into the... That's pretty much how we get pumped up for, uh... Because some reason my we either watched that what we were watching some Eunice uh, YouTube channel too. True, we were. First off, if you've ever watched Eunice's YouTube channel, it's hilarious. But we have our first award here. The first award. The official. The ballot index card, dude. That's awesome. So usually I had there. I put the top three. So it was one, two, and then number one is obviously the winner. Okay. Um. It's also fun because he has no idea who these are. Because I was the one that did the. Uh, the yeah, play. I don't. I've, I'm going in blind. So, for the first concept of the year, the number two finisher was Stray Kids with God's Menu, which I did not realize was a whole concept. But yes, that got the a chefs. Ton, it got a ton of votes. The chefs. And the number one winner was the retro '70s disco vibe. So many people put that. Really? Yes. So, for a retro song here, we're playing the best retro song of all time. Would we disco? That makes sense. But it was, I will say, I knew it was a very popular kind of concept for groups to do this year. Yeah. But I wasn't sure how much people liked it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, what did, oh, I was going to say, what got third? But that's okay. Oh, there was just a ton of them. There's just a There were so many different votes. Yeah. That's the thing is, like, in K-pop, there's so many different things that you can put that, like, unless you have, like, thousands and thousands of people, which we did not, yeah, it's kind of hard to narrow it in on, like, a specific amount. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Because, like, this had, I want to say, at least half the votes that we had. Yeah. But then at the same time, got, like, Stray Kids got to I mean, you got, like, three, which would have been second, and everything else might have got, like, one. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's, like, a bit, yeah. But yeah, no, this the retro really awesome. the retro it concept in, was like just like a big hit this year. Like eighties retro, seventies retro. Yeah, like even, everyone, even like nineties stuff. Cause nineties love came out a little bit ago. Yeah. That was cool. But then like this came out, then you had like La Dida had that kind of sound. Um Also mm-hmm. so did uh I almost thought this guy's Pitbull. So it looks did like uh the, the new Twice song. That was more of a retro vibe. Yeah, it was. Magoo by G Friend. That was re- yeah. There were so many. It was just a very very popular thing to have this year. Not this, JYP. Yeah, this was definitely. We'll just say this is what started it all. Also, I actually never saw this video. I haven't either. I just saw the one video. We lost watched like the live one. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen the actual video. Um, what are these white guys dancing back here? But also, uh, like even. Uh, SOS by Uza had like and we talk about it all the time we love that like super chill like retro synth yeah. sound on or like coconut love <laughs> yeah it's just a really big, good big really year good for the synths it's weird seeing a J- like a JYP video where they actually use different people that aren't their other artists as- oh yeah oh 
I just want to collab between this and one, two, three by Sungry. <laughs> oh yeah. That was the retro concept before the retro concept. It really was. <laughs> That's just greatness. I really just love it how all the people dancing on the stage right now are clearly Korean and everyone in the background are like white people. <laughs> yeah. White people can stay off the stage. But this was the big winner. Like, I mean, it was like... It makes sense, though. I mean, it make like, for as many songs as we had the retro concept, it'd almost be tough for it, like, not to win. Let me... Just because so many people... Because there's so many different songs with the, co- like some type of retro concept for people to like. True. So that were still different, but it all like gets clumped into being retro. So just for the sheer numbers, uh, it's a it's a solid winner. It was bound to happen. Yeah. Some of the other nominees we had for this were um a lot of people just put like specific like songs like or songs or yeah. concepts. Um Summer or Latin was one of them. Yeah, so, I mean... Chocome was one of them, but I mean, that's kind of like a... Like, fun... Bubbly kind of one. It wasn't really... Summer just always gets my vote. Girl Crush is one of them. Summer Concepts is one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, a lot of them are just like 70s disco or retro disco or retro or... uh, It it (laughs) It was just such a big thing, yeah. Darker Concepts. Ding, ding, ding. So yeah, I mean that's a good one. Oh yeah, the retro vibe songs were really nice. Like there was a lot of good ones. We right. just, that was the first time I ever seen that video. It was, that was awesome. A good one. Good ne- job. Next category we have is rookie of the year. Oh, I wonder who it's gonna be. I wish you guys could see me open these envelopes with our official. It has. Them. These are the most official you speak envelopes all day ever. Doing this. So rookie number, of the year number three was treasure. Don't yes. know who that is. I think it's a boy They're group. They're a YG thing. Number two was MCND. I think that's another boy group. And then Way number go, one guys. with nine votes out of the 22 different groups that had votes was Weekly with 0.128% of the votes. There we go. It's like the uh, Twitter polls. <laughs> so there's like, 22, there's like 22 nominations and they had nine votes, so they were one of the 22 groups, and they had the most votes. I mean, I'm actually not really surprised. I am I was going to say, well, I'm not going to give it away because I guess we're going to do it next week, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Now, actually, until the last couple, um, this just lets everybody know that every vote counts because unless until the last like couple two votes came in last night before I closed the votes, like, the voting down, yeah. Weekly wasn't the f- number one; they were number two. Really? Yeah. It was the late votes that did it. Yeah. It was the late push. They really pushed them over because I'm pretty sure MC and D had eight. So the last, the num- the eighth vote tied them, and the number nine was the one that put them in the number one spot for rookie of the year. Treasure was just really hanging around at three. Well, I mean, that's like it's crazy. There's 22 different groups that people voted for. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you that there's oh, 22 no rookie idea. groups out there this year. I don't know anything. I have no idea about MCND. Also had a couple votes for um, Everglow and uh, Stray Kids. <laughs> Some people really just want to forget uh, 2020 and move back a few years. I know. Um, and number four, just because I know because they were number three until they got knocked off, Right. was uh, Signature. That's a very strong contender. So... Good job, Weekly. Rookie of the Year. We, uh... This song's a good song. Yeah. This song's a good song. It's grown on me. It's cool. I think maybe because of the songs that they had, like, their kind of come out after, I appreciated this one more. My Earth was such a sweet song. That was, like, one of the best B-sides I've ever heard. That song was sick. I wanted to pick which, which uh... Song to play for this, and I was like, you might as well just play... Yeah, you know, no, this is... The song they debuted is, with, This so. is, yeah... I watched uh, today. So for all the people that voted for Weekly, you guys did it. Yeah, good job, Weekly. They'll probably win this award in uh, on some other shows. Like, also, shout out to Gian for being the biggest Luna fan of all time. Today I watched this morning, I watched her uh, blind date thing with Olivia, and uh, it was just the best. It's my favorite thing. Just so much innocence. It's so, so funny. Uh, it's like literally my favorite thing is 
her and Luna. Which is really crazy is if you added their ages together of her and Olivia, they're probably younger than both of us. <laughs> She's, uh, yeah, Olivia's not that much older than her. It's just so funny when they're in, like, the, like, around each other and doing stuff too. Olivia's, like, this, like, grown. She's just know, so used to not being she, she's just, too. She's just the oldest and grown and all this and mature, and she's only, like, a few years older than her. It's crazy. It was really funny, though, because you can just see Gian actually, like, actually cares and, like, loves her and loves them. It was like that time She literally that, just, like, uh, almost is always on the brink of tears. When Go on met Oh My Girl. Yeah, pretty much. But no, this song's cool. I like it. This is a good song. This is a good song. It's gr grew on me. Mm -hmm. I was extremely saddened by the fact that Wu Wall was not number one. Tough one. Tough. There's lots of competition. Wu was not a good year. It probably would have helped if they, you know, didn't come back in like the last month of the year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they really did. Do? They were gone for a while. They were. It was scary times. So I was like, uh oh. But their comeback was awesome. It was very good. The school outfits are also awesome too. Yeah, those little orange socks are good cool. Good song. Good job, Weekly. Rookies of the Year from the fans. Next up, we have Album, album of the Year. Album of the Year. Album of the Year. I hope everyone appreciates it. Oh, it's God's menu. Awesome. <laughs> I wish you guys could see the awesome official cards. Maybe I'll take a pic and put it on Instagram because it's awesome. So, number three was NCT Renaissance Part mm -hmm. 1. Number two was Twice with Eyes Wide Open. And this was the most... Okay, so, I was, Zag, if you're listening to this, this is the one I was talking about. I was very shocked by this, to be honest with you. One of these I was not surprised by. The other one I was surprised by, because there's two of them that are tied for first place. Ooh, we have a tie. So, first we'll talk about the first one that's on here, which is going to be these guys. BTS with Map of Soul 7. So, obviously, I was not surprised that BTS got Album of the Year. Uh, this is just a nice highlight medley of the whole album we can listen to. Oh, nice. But yeah, I'm not surprised that they got, you know, just generally based off how many oh, people uh, voted, there's going to be BTS there fans. Was, yeah, I was going to say, there's, we were just waiting for them to be on the list. Now, I this will came say out this year? Yes. Huh. That this and the nut other group that got tied with them both had seven votes each, which were one percent of the votes. Nice. And there's thirty three different albums that were nominated for this. Wow. It's close. So a lot of I mean, there's a lot it's tied. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, diversity, which is good. Yeah, yeah. This is also nice because I've never heard any of these songs except for... The song sounds cool. ...that other one that just happened. Was it Boy With Love or Boy In Love or... Yeah. Um, yeah, BTS Map of Soul 7. No surprise. They won a lot of awards. They're really popular. Korea's making a special law for them so they don't have to go to the army until they're 30. I don't know why... I mean, I get it, but at the same time, they have to... They probably just won't have to go eventually. They'll just keep making new adjustments to the rule. Yeah, I don't know. And they won't have to go. But... Ooh, this sounds nice. Ooh, produced by Sugar? I do like um, August D, so. Then remember we went over that wall? Oh, Ed Sheeran, let's go. Man, just everybody made that song. <laughs> but we were talking about that one episode, how I knew who August D was because someone told me to listen to his album, and I had no idea that it was Sugar from Oh, BTS. yeah, that was <laughs> funny. I had no idea. I didn't even know August D was a thing. Man, this song's nice too. Mm -mm. Sugar's out here producing everything. Good old P Dog. This is pretty cool. Maybe I'll actually have to check this out. Also, uh, I bought this album for, I think I said it, that I bought it for like my coworker and yeah, her yeah, daughter. Yeah. And they were like super happy because they, uh, I'd never had an album before, so I was like, they like put it up, and it's like a family shrine thing now. <laughs> I just love the super Man, pixelated it's pictures. it's so pixelated. Like they couldn't get a, come on. Is there not zoom in as much, guys? Come on. I'd expect better from you, armies. Like this is, I don't know who made this, but. Dun, 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 dun. Well, album of the year. 
one of the albums of the year. I'm sure that they'll actually win that award. Supreme Boy. There's just so many people that make these songs. P Dog, my guy. So, yeah, I was telling Zach when he was doing his votes last night that there's one category um, that would have changed depending on his vote, and I plan for him to vote for what he voted on, so I'm not surprised at all that this happened. Yeah. But, I don't know why I always think there's like 14 people in this group, but there's not. There's like seven. Just lots of photos. I guess. I mean, this is some crazy Okay, so the next group that made it and tied for it was Dreamcatcher's album, Dystopia, The Tree of Language. Wow. I know, right? I can't lie. Never would have thought the albums of the year would be a matchup between In BTS a lot, and Dreamcatcher. A lot of people voted for this. Wow. So, really good album. There you go, Zag. You're curious about what it was. This is good job, Dreamcatcher album of the year, according to the fans. I expected him to vote for this, and he was the last person to vote. Literally, with like two minutes left he, on the thing, he did it. Zag he, did it. If he didn't have this, they would have been second, but they tied for first because he voted for Zag it. Zag did it. Wow. But yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of votes for this. A lot of people voted for it. So good, good job, job, Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher. Whoa. You read Getting your uh, first award from us. Well, from the fans. Other people other people voted for uh, Neverland by WJSN, the album by Blackpink. Um, what else was there? Super M's album, Super One. This song was a banger. Oh, yeah. Shout out to really the one person album. that voted for Helicopter single. <laughs> Man. <laughs> um... Non-stop on Oh My Girl's album. They Great album. That. There's so many good albums this year. Also, this album was freaking sick. This album's so many good awesome. Songs. It has hits. Every song's a hit. Um, also, a lot of people voted for a Blue Eyes by Eyes One, but that wasn't enough. I thought maybe that one of the Eyes One albums would uh, be up there. Neo Zone, the final round by NCD 127. Semicolon by 17. And a couple people voted for 12 o'clock by Luna. Zig must have had multiple entries. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was, album's really good too. I was very, I'm all not gonna lie. Are good. It's not like I said. This is a, not a bad album. There's like a lot of really good oh, songs. Really all good. the songs that we actually people like told us to listen to when we did our episode on them were all from this They're album. All from this. Um. But yeah. They tired of the BTS in our votes for album Dream of the year. BTS albums of the year, according to the fans. They may never win the real album of the year, but they got the KBK Award they got 2020. The KBK Fan Award album of the year. Can't argue with those numbers. I do remember Red Sun was awesome. Man. I thought maybe. Oh, it was close. I thought maybe Blue Eyes would be up there. It's just so tough because there's so many good ones. I'm amazed no itchy ones were on there. Yeah. Just so many good albums. You know what's funny? I think I've heard more of this album fully than I've heard of a lot of albums. <laughs> yeah. Because listen to this highlight medley. There's like so many al- some yeah. songs that I've like heard. Man, look at that fake background right there. This is back when they still had uh, the was mask this, uh, on <laughs> Was this uh, like a full album? Yeah. Oh, nice. Ten songs. There might be more. I don't know. I don't. I guess we'll find out here momentarily. Oh, love them. I maybe everybody in our Discord just voted for them, and that's how. That's um, how they won. They we won. have a lot of DC fans. Every vote counts, DC fans. You guys did it. And weekly fans. Zeg's votes changed the course of say two he categories. He probably made the rookie of the year and one of the albums of the year. Outro. I like the little tree logo things. Twelve songs. That's a lot. Even ten songs without the outro is pretty nice. 
Ooh, the instrumentals. Then we got the instrumentals. Speaking of cool rock groups, can't wait to hear the rest of Purple Kiss. Sounding pretty good. Ooh, the hidden track. Okay, so there's a thousand out songs in this album. A thousand. This is nice. Definitely song. deserving. Oh, yeah. Definitely deserving. Good, good job, work, Dreamcatcher. That came out so long. That ago. came out a long time ago. Goodness. Now we got favorite B side. Favorite B side of the year. Favorite B side of the year chosen by the fans. Opening up this uh the mystery envelope. That's what it's all about. I took time that's to take this, this to the, all of that's this. That's what this episode is actually about, is the cards. <laughs> um, number three was a tie between NCT, Faded in My Last Song, which is a sweet name for a song, and The Boy's Salt. I've never heard of either of those. Me neither. Um, number two was Oh My Girl, Dolphin, which is a great song. Really good one. And number one with six, vo- votes, six votes was oh, Voice two. by Luna. Nice. And they had 0.085% of the votes, and there was 53... Ringing them in. There was 53 different people... That's a lot of songs. ...that people voted for. Gosh, this is such a great stage. (laughs) I'm just mesmerized by these bell-bottom blue pants right now. And Kim Lip. And yeah, this was, uh, vest this was a uh, this was a really good song. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite song with the album. This is really, so good. really good album. That's why they were in the running for that too. True. They had a really good. Luna had a very good 2020. They really did. I thought about putting their princess stage on when they're Disney princesses, but I'm like, I've seen that before. I'd watch this. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen the whole stage. I've just watched a bunch of clips. You can never go wrong with the princess outfits. Yojin's so short. <laughs> she really is just a very tiny human being. I'm almost convinced at this point that crop tops were made for K-pop. I think so. Because I never realized until I got into K-pop how many people wore crop tops. Like, yeah. They're everywhere. Helps that they're uh, all very in shape people. Even the guys. It's true. Because they wear them too. I honestly was surprised uh, Dolphin didn't win. I thought it was going to. Dolphin was really good. Because in the early stages of voting, uh, Dolphin had a lot of votes. But then everyone just loved voice. I can't blame him. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like it's a that's a respectable, respectable loss. Also, a lot of people put, like, star slash voice. So, you know, the English version. So maybe that just got more people to vote for it. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Man, look at Heejin's hair. This is, like, my favorite part. I love it. <laughs> look at the confetti. Awesome. This is a great song. Really is. Definitely a deserving. Ending Fairy, Yojin, let's go. Winning B side. Next category Most underrated song of the year. Oh gosh. Ooh. Fans, if this one's not good, I'm going to be hard on you. So I actually put number three, Many Were Tied with One Vote, because there's 52 different um, songs in the running for this. That's a lot of songs. Good job, third place. People. Number two was Jungle by Six. Never heard of that. Um, number one was tied between O and F. I honestly don't even know how to pronounce this. It says Suk- Sukhumvit Swimming. Sukhumvit Swimming. What is this? I don't know. It was actually interesting here because a lot of people <laughs> voted for this. This looks crazy. So I'm really, I was looking forward to listening to this. It looks like they're love on the Orient Western, Express right now. Love the Western space concept. <laughs> Well, a lot of people really love this, so I'm going to give you my honest opinion right here on the air. I guess if they're underrated, then it's good for us to find out. 
I will say right now this is a crazy video. Yeah, it is. Who is this group? O and F. Oh. I don't really know who that is. O and F. Maybe like a big mechanical spider thing back there. It's pretty cool. Did you say succumbit? Succumbit? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what that is. There's so much going on. <laughs> is that just the moon set that Luna danced on too? Is that <laughs> just so. in a room somewhere? We need the moon yeah. set from 12 to 12.30. This song and the other song that tied with it both got three votes each. So ah. they both had, um, point zero four point two percent, zero zero point four two four two percent. There we go. That's a neck and neck race. Well, I said there's fifty two. That's a lot of fifty two songs. Lot of songs yeah, for. a lot of one vote songs. They're looking at gun shoot out. So far, the song's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good song. The video is crazy. Oh my gosh. Succumbit. Succumbit. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely the most creative name I think I've seen out of any song so far. Yeah. It's just crying. Dancing on the Moon. Well, I will say for an underrated song, it's pretty good. Not the worst. I'm glad. Just have no idea what this. Vi no idea what happened here. I actually, um, like I said, only got three votes on this, but there's other people who put the song down for like being like boy group song of the year. Oh wow! So it's a big hit. And then the other group that was tied was uh, From Us Night and oh, Feel yes. Good. I agree with this. So, of course, I had to pick the nine-member choreo version with Soy on there. I was so hyped to see when this came out, and it was the whole the whole concept of it was that there's nine members, that she's back. Mm -hmm. I'm glad people voted this as an underrated song because they were gone for so long, like over a year. Yeah. And then they came back, so at least it's good they got recognized for something here. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because this song's a banger. And it's awesome. Soyon's ankles healed, so she's back. Man, what is this off of g has got on right now? This song was great. Oh, it's so good. I love it. This whole album's good. Man, practice outfits are always the best out there. Yeah, dance, uh, dance practice is the best. And they're like track suits and sweatpants. <laughs> Why couldn't Sawyer just be there for like the entire thing? <laughs> and she had that nasty ankle injury. Dude. I'm just glad the fans voted it. That warms my heart that the fans voted for Promus 9. I just want Promus to have all the fans. Promise deserves everything. Shout out to someone getting all the center time right now. <laughs> yeah, she deserved it. She hadn't been there. She's been getting, making up those minutes. She really is. She's in the elevator. I always wonder if they pick out their own outfits or they just wear whatever or they give them. I have no idea. For like these types of things where Man. it's supposed to be like you know they're like more casual but I don't know look at G1 just being an angel dude at least she's got all that sweat band on her wrist in case things get real, yeah, she's real just, intense uh, doesn't want to get the hand to get too sweaty man 
Mm. Good job, Promise. Yeah. Underrated song of the year. I'm actually kind of glad that it tied with the boy groups, and you got a boy group and a girl group. Yeah. Them and, uh, I already forgot the name of that. Something Swimming. Succumbit? Succumbit? Succumbit Swimming. Yeah, I'm not sure it's interesting. Wow, this is awesome. Dance practice is just the go. They're really Undefeated. Are. This is a really nice song for Fromus too. It suited them really well. And they made like a hundred covers of it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Go team. We got three we got three, three categories fan votes left. left. We'll ship everyone's uh, war trophy uh, to their company, so hopefully they get it. I'm gonna send them stickers and say that they uh Congrats, you won this award. So, uh, if you ever see any of the background of the videos, you know that they got it. <laughs> it was nice that we could give BTS their biggest award they've ever had, so you're welcome, guys. Stick it on the tour bus. Boom. Good job, Fromis. Dude, Underrated good song. job. Next up is Boy Group Song of the Year. Boy Group Song of the Year. This is a good one. Because number three had a bunch of ties. So, yeah. Day Sick Zombie, um, 17's Left and Right, NCT's Kick It, which all are good songs. Uh, number two, you had a tie between BTS's Dynamite, Pentagon's Daisy, and a surprise to none of us, the number one boy group song of the year was God's Menu by Stray Kids. They had, Garby. it had 15, or 15, it had 14 votes, which was like 20% Jeez. of the votes. There was 31 Dominating. songs in the uh, the that were people voted for, and actually it like wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, Four, 14 was by far the most. A completely deserving song. Oh yeah, song so Stray sick. Kids <laughs> brought the energy for God's Menu with all the different sets and looks. I was hoping that it would win, but I honestly wasn't sure if it would or not. <laughs> it beat, beat out some good songs. I do. It did. I do know a lot of people really loved it. And why not? It's great. This whole award show is just an excuse for us to watch this. Yeah, um, anytime we can watch God's Menu, you're not going to complain. My part's just so sick. The video is amazing. The video makes the song like a thousand times. We should have just rigged the vote and just uh, said every winner was God's menu. Yeah, this wasn't even us voting. This was like literally all the people that listened because... People love God's menu. We didn't vote in any of this. Like I said, this got 14 votes and the two that were tied for a second, I think they both got like... Eight or nine. So was this like it like this, wasn't even close. Was this the single highest vote getting winner we had? Yeah, I think it was. That's impressive. Just such a great beat too. It's just so good. Good job, JYP. It just never gets old. It is, I mean, I definitely don't disagree with this, but there's a, there was a lot of good boy group. Maybe we just paid attention a little more, but there's some really good boy group songs. Well, like, they beat Pentagon, BTS, NCT 17, and Day 6. Yeah. This is some really popular Some groups. real stiff competition. Give the fans what they want. Man, it's such a sick video. <laughs> so good job, Stray Kids. Good job, Stray Kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we have Girl Group Song of the Year. Girl Group Song of the Year. What could it be? 
Well, number three was It's Youth Wannabe. Number two was a tie between Twice with I Can't Stop Me and Oh My Girls Nonstop. And uh, number one was Everglow with La Di Da. There so, it is. It had 10 votes out of the... Oh, wow. There was 32 like songs that they voted for or voted, yeah. I guess, submitted. And they had 10 votes with 0.142% of the votes. So, I mean... A double digit turnout. You always got to be impressed with that. Because Stray Kids with yeah, their um, boy group song of the year and this girl group song of the year, the only two votes that had double digit votes. Yeah. The people is, just love the it, retro it is, Everglow La Dida. It is a big, uh, big award song of the year. So the fans loved it. Which, I mean, is a good song. Yeah, like another... I really haven't disagreed with any of the uh, fan votes. They did a great job. I was waiting for some of them to be like, what? Like, come on, fans. Like, what are we talking about here? But they've been on it. Also, uh, Sian and Yuren, we hope you get better quickly. Oh, yeah. You got the COVID. They got COVID. Or as Ted would say, the COVID. Hopefully, uh... The professional term. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they can uh, heal and recover as quickly as possible. Good to see Everglow just really escalating up the list of groups winning awards for like Song of the Years and stuff from the fans because they've only been a group for like a little over a year now, right? Oh, they just really burst on the scene and just continue to rise. So, I mean, it's only up from here. I was actually real surprised there wasn't more votes for Dun Dun. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that says a lot that that song was so good, and then this was the one that won. And they beat twice. They beat Itzy. They beat Oh My Girl. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That's what happens when you make good music. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Everglow makes bangers. I was surprised there was not a lot of votes for... Like, any Eyes One songs. Uh, just because they, like, had a few, so you'd think maybe just for the numbers there'd be... There's well, just a lot of good so I mean, there's so many good girl group songs this year. It's nice to see Nonstop up there. That was deserving of a high finish. Nonstop was awesome. Yeah, not, I love Nonstop. Hope you guys are ready for a last award. I wonder what it's going to be. Oh, man. Can we just really give credit to these backup dancers? Because they're really getting the it. back, the unsung heroes of K-pop, just the backup dancers. I mean, this stage is awesome. This is a very cool stage. Cool video, cool song, amazing album. Everglow has just... They, like, don't make bad They songs. just have been amazing for every single release that they've had. There's not been one. I'm like, eh, that was okay. Like, no, they've been all amazing. Here you go. Good job, Girl Group Song of the Year. Oh, I get one. He gets to do the song. Song of the Year. The big one. The big one. It's God's menu. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, number three is Itzy Wannabe. Good work, Itzy. Uh, BTS Dynamite number two. And I wasn't fooling because number one is God's menu again. It is the song of the year. Voted by the fans. Voted by the fans. It got six votes. That's 0.085%. Now we get to watch the stage. Because we're watching I was again. just kidding, but I was like, you know. I mean, it got boy group song of the year. Why would it not just be? And there were there was forty groups that people voted for, like forty yeah, different songs. Yeah, 40, 40 songs. God's menu is your champion of champions. So what a great day! We get to listen to God's menu twice. <laughs> now we get to watch a stage. This stage is crazy. Which I mean, makes sense. It was the highest voting for one thing with fourteen votes for boy group song of the year. So it's a very popular song. It really is. Shout out to uh, It's Even being on the list because I honestly thought it'd be three boy group songs. No. 
There you go. Good job, Dyna Dynamite. Very popular song, but Stray Kids just no one stopping God's menu. And since we've already talked about God's menu a little bit, I'll give you one of our other uh, our other categories that we can't really quantify by counting the votes because there's just so many different answers. And it was bias record of the year. And I'm just gonna list off some of these people people voted for. Taman, so that's a good one. Juan from Monster X. Dino from 17. Uh, Mina from Twice. Yunjun from TXT. Jacob from The Boys. Oh, it's Jacob. That's cool. I <laughs> always um, loved uh, just names like that. Yoon Kyung from Rocket Punch. Someone put Momo, so that's good. Yuju from G Friend. They must have seen that video from Agu. <laughs> yeah. Rose from Blackpink. Um. Hung Suk from Pentagon and Hyun Suk from B2B. Nice. B2B out here. Let's go. Uh, Bakyon. Chu. Can't go wrong with True. Or True. Chu. Uh, as a whole group, someone put Stray Kids. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just count um, them as the bias tracker of the year is uh, God's Menu by Stray Kids. Um, Winter from Aespa. Hyunjin. I am from Monster X. A lot of people getting wrecked by Monster X out here. Um, Taeyong from NCT and Mina from Twice. Man, a lot of people just getting wrecked by. We just need to like close our eyes and just randomly scroll, and whatever one we land on is bias record of the year. I know, right? Um, Heejin, Benny from Oh My Girl, Hyojin from O and F. Someone put Nako. Let's go. Um, Baby Arn from Oh My Girl, Mina again. Man, a lot of people just maybe love Mina, Mina is just our bias record of the year. <laughs> Someone put. Chori from Luna is the biggest bias record I've ever had. Taman again. Rose from Blackpink. Rose's got a bunch of votes here. Um, Chu from Luna again. Cherry Young from Itzy. Someone just put all of Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Love the effort with just the whole group. Oh, yeah. Hyunjin again. Guy from Dreamcatcher. RM. Who else we got here? Stray Kids really just cleaning up the awards. At the uh, K- yeah, PK are, Fan Awards here. They're also just the bias record of the year as a group with God's um, Menu. Bang Chan from Stray Kids. And then we got Kim Lip and Mina from Twice Again. So Obviously, I guess if Mina, we were going to count Mina out Mina, Mina won. Mina she won. got like four or five, something like that. But yeah, that was the awards. Those are good picks. Good job, fans. Good job, fans. I am impressed. I really didn't disagree with any of those. I thought there would definitely be a few and be like, ah, I don't know about that. I mean, like, not saying there are ones I would pick, but I am impressed with the fans' picks. I thought we'd have some weird out there ones. I'm like, how oh, is this the winner? But no, those were all great. For uh, our closing segment here, I have a. I'll read off some of these comments. Is that a, an area for extra comments people could leave? Oh, gosh. So they could bash us and tell us how bad we are? Good. Bring it on. So while we do that, we're going to listen to uh, one of my favorite things ever from 2020 maybe ever in life and it's uh one of the from choco man one of the few good things from 2020 so let's let's do this let's read some of these comments um someone put special mention breathe got seven favorite music video can't you see me by txt someone's really hyped about rocket punch because they put rocket punch stole my heart most of the songs from the red punch album have been on repeat all year and i just can't get enough the recent title track for Blue Punch Juicy is a love-hate song, but I love every single song from the album. So this wrote us the whole paragraph. Pretty much. Um, Summer Punch is an absolute must-listen. It gives off oomphah oomphah vibes, and I love it so much. It was a heavy contester for my favorite B-side, along with Lilac, Girlfriend, Twinkle Star, and The The. So someone's just a huge fan out here. Good job, Rocket of, uh, Punch. Rocket really Punch. Way to help that person out through 2020. Someone put Boy Group of the Year was NCT. Um, Don't disagree. Somebody put Kick It by NCT127 also deserves Song of the Year. Someone put Stand the Boys. I've never heard of them, but I guess, I'm guess i guessing they're better. I, I know, like, I've heard of them. I don't know anything about it. I just know the name, The Boys. I'm like, that sounds like a fun bunch. Um, best trailer has concept film was AT's Diary Film. Best OST was Hello Stranger from Stray Kids. Best choreography was Naughty by Red Velvet. And best music video was Can't You See Me by TXT, which was a sweet video. Um, 
Lusty needs to come back. Someone goes, keep up the good work, guys. I get a bunch of those cards in the card game. <laughs> if Yeah, I had to. And it says, another one says, if y'all haven't checked out O and F before, please do. Well, your dreams came true because we did that. That song is pretty cool. Um, there were too many good group slash songs this year. How TF am I supposed to choose only one for each category? Well, Sad darn case. it. You need to do it. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. That's, it's not easy, man. Um, Ace needs their first win. Somebody sent a gift, but you can't see gifts, so I wonder what that is. Somebody put hi. Um, someone put 2020. It was actually pretty good title track-wise. Well, there you go. It absolutely was. I completely agree with that. Someone put way too many bops to choose from, LOL. I tried choosing. Good job. So you put God's menu. That's what that means. Someone goes, I'm going to try to pay more attention to the boy groups next year. Also, Stan Luna. Same. Someone put, thank you for doing this. Four exclamation points. This was, That was hard as hell to choose as expected. <laughs> LOL. Someone sent like seven hearts. Um, someone put, I wish... Hold on. I wish there were options I could choose from to insert my pick because it was so hard to fill out as ten of these songs and groups were running through my mind making it hard to decide. I'm not even sure of all my answers. Note to self, it's not that serious, Asia. <laughs> so, thanks, Asia, if that's your name. Don't hate the or player. If you're, don't hate the game. Hate or if you're talking about Asia <laughs> from uh, Everglow, also a good pick. <laughs> yeah, absolutely phenomenal pick. Someone put um, La Di Da, Song of the Year, thanks. <laughs> mm. One girl group. Dun, dun, dun. After I'm done enjoying this Choco May stage with their awesome outfits and beautiful personalities I've got a super special message I can read here to end our end our episode oh yes I'm glad no one uh beautiful actually bashed us I mean it would have been cool like if someone wanted to go for oh it oh my gosh any fair loot let's go well that's a way to end it I have a special message here in our comments that says I discovered KPK this year and it's changed my life thank you Fog and JT for the podcast that you work hard on and for the K-pop community you've given us in discord this year was sucky, but you guys made it worthwhile. Wish y'all nothing but success. Thank you, kind friend. Gentle stranger. We thank do you it. Uh, we do it all for you. You're the reason we do it. I hope this was gratifying for you guys, because like I said, we had no votes in this at all. So. No, this was again recap. None of this was our votes. Yeah. Because if was... it was us, God's Menu would have won every single little award. I mean, they won a lot. That was Song of the Year. I mean, we'll see. We'll see next week because next week it is where gonna, the ball is in our court. So we'll see how many more times you're going to play God's Menu. Yeah, I know. Really, dance of the year, concept of the year, hair of the year, uh, chefs of the year, race cars of the year. like. It could be anything. It could be anything. Um, I guess also in closing here, Eisman's coming back. Eisman is coming back. So it's Christmas time. I'm in a giving mood. Once you listen to this, go comment on the post and tell us you're saying a song of the year. Pick a winner. A couple weeks. We'll have our top 10 song countdown. And, yeah, it is uh, coming up too. We have all the lists on the way. A couple weeks, I'll pick a winner and I'll send you all three Eyes One albums, you just like all, I did last time. All the Eyes One albums coming your way. So, yeah, just co comment on a post, tell us your song of the year, and uh, win some Eyes One albums. I've given out a lot of it albums look, this year. You have. You have. Uh, it, looks, it looks awesome. Eyes One. Like they do, look like they're gonna knock it out of the park. Man, I was listening to the the, the teaser and I was watching it. And I was like, man, I'm gonna. I know once I see this, I'm gonna cry. Like I'm gonna be so it's, sad. Uh, it looks it looks very. I mean, everything they've done has been like really well done, like theatrical, and it was no different for this. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we will have to. Do, we'll 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 cross that. That's for future us to worry about. But again, congratulations yeah, to the congr- fan votes. Thank you, thank you, everyone that voted. That was awesome. You actually got a good amount we of votes. We got a lot of votes. That's the best. I mean, that's what we wanted more than anything was just people to participate, and you guys did. That's the best. You Honestly, way it. more than I expected. And it was a lot of people that, like I said, on Reddit, we never really yeah talked to, and they were like super excited and wanted to do it and yeah. check out the episode. So. If you got, yeah, listen into the episode, listen to more of the episodes, join the Discord. Hopefully, we could get some new people too because of that. Yeah. But it was uh, it was fun. That was that was really well. I'm just very impressed with the fan votes. I can't disagree with any of them. I was very impressed. 
Were you more impressed with the fan votes or more impressed with the uh, the presentation envelopes? <laughs> oh, okay. Screw the fan votes <laughs> and the fans. It was all about the envelopes. No, just kidding. All of it was great. All of it was great. I'm excited for. Uh, it made me. It made me excited for next week, just to uh, get the personal K-pop kimchi. I guess our end of, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just want to have a bunch of categories. Which oh, yeah. ra- I just want to make a bunch of random categories. Like your favorite song you heard on just a Tuesday like, in the middle of you know, the Yeah, <laughs> literally like, I don't know, favorite. I don't know. It could be anything. We'll think of something. We got a whole week. But that was awesome. Stray just, Kids, Everglow, you were the tops of the tops this year. Stray Kids, you take the top spot with the, the, song, kids the really song, just, song of the year overall just with God's up. Menu. Can't argue, man. God's Menu is sick. God's Menu is one of the best boy group songs I've ever heard, so it makes sense. And it's like one of the best videos. It's so cool. Well, Good job, fans. That's I'm, for you. I hope everyone that votes listens. Yeah. I'll go back and I'll post it all in the actual post that I put them on and see if yeah. anybody listens and to everyone, it. everyone, keep listening and join the Discord. Yep. Come have come fun. Come join the Discord. Come follow us on Instagram or Twitter. K-pop Kimchi 101. Come talk to us. Come be K-pop friends because we have a bunch of K-pop friends, but we could always include more. It's true. Um, Tell us about what you get for Christmas. Stay warm. It's getting cold out there. Yeah, stay warm. Happy holidays for whatever you're celebrating. Stay safe. Stay humble. Shabloips. 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 All right, we love you guys. We'll catch you next week. Peace. Peace.